Mosquito is a monster. It takes a lot of life, not only in Bangladesh, but also all over the world. Keep your surroundings clean. Look for places where water can be stuck. Also, look for unused tires, pots, and anything that can hold rainwater. If the water is a few days old, their Aedes mosquito can be born. So, be careful and save your family. Let's get back to the main video. Today, I bought an old monitor for my video editing, gaming, and my freelancing setup. But why an old monitor? Why not buy a new one? Firstly, I don't have a lot of money. Secondly, all of you guys know I'm a broke gamer. That's the pillar of starting this channel. In this channel, I show you guys how you can make the most of your money. In this channel, I don't make baller gaming PCs. Rather than I try to make gaming PCs with least amount of money. If this is your liking and you are also a broke gamer like me, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. There is a lot of interesting video coming very soon. The monitor I bought today is an Asus gaming monitor which I found in Victor.com, a leading listing site in Bangladesh. Oh, disclaimer, this is not a paid promotion. The monitor model number is VZ248. It's a 3D monitor which has a 1080p, 144Hz, 24-inch panel, supports DVI-D, HDMI and also DisplayPort connection. It also has an audio output and an internal power supply. Having a swivel mechanism underneath the stands lets me swivel and adjust the monitor around 90 degree angle. Can align this monitor vertically for my viewing needs. Unfortunately, it only supports 144 Hz in DVI-D connection. No problem, I got a free DVI-D cable from the seller and he was also nice enough to give me a hefty discount. So what was the price of the monitor? Well, it was listed as 20,000 taka, but as I told you, seller gave me a hefty discount. So I got it only for 15,000 taka, which is around 170 to 180 USD. The performance I'm getting from this monitor is awesome. Maybe because I'm not used to play in high refresh rate monitors. The highest I got only was 75 Hz, which was a Samsung 60 Hz monitor overclocked to 75 Hz. If you want to know how to overclock your monitor, you can click here to watch the video. As my camera can only run up to 50 Hz, I'm not being able to show you the true capability of this monitor. If you want to know more about high refresh rate monitors and also want to know the benefits of having them, you can watch this Linus Tech Tips video. The question is, was it a good idea to buy a secondhand high refresh rate gaming monitor? I would have to say yes. But you have to look out for some things. Always check the monitor before buying. Tell the seller that you won't buy without checking. Remember to check dead pixels. Look for any scratches on the screen. I have seen a lot of unused monitors that get some kind of fungus like spots and also look for vertical lines on the screen. They are indication for damaged display panel. Lastly, tell them to keep the monitor running for at least half an hour. I have seen a lot of monitor in my life which display panel starts to flicker after getting warmer. These are the necessary steps to cover before buying a second hand monitor. But if you have enough money, I will suggest you to buy a new one and get rid of these headaches. If you are a broke gamer like me, we only got this choice. So guys, that is all for today. Don't forget to like if you like this video and also consider subscribing and ring the bell icon. See you guys in the next one.